further ado, I would like to introduce everybody, Mr. Forrest Whitaker. This has been a blast. This has been great for me. I, I've, I've really enjoyed uh, watching the films and meeting everybody uh, and being a part of hopefully the celebration of continuing to tell stories and continuing to move forward as artists together. Uh, it's been exceptional for me. Uh, and I thank you for, for, for giving me that opportunity because uh, it means a lot to me. And I'm, I'm, I'm really feel fortunate that uh, James, Jim, Jim Boyd, and allowed me to uh, become a part of this festival and I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the future. Um, one of the great things um, that uh, we do is, 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 as we say, celebrate innovation and celebrate storytelling, filmmaking in all its, on all its ways. And tonight we're going to celebrate a filmmaker, uh, Mike Figgis, who is very innovative. <laughs> Award for free spirit, and I cannot think of anyone that could be more appropriate for this award. He is so many things, and uh, one of them is that I don't care how old anyone is. This is the youngest director I've ever met. His ideas are always the newest, the most avant-garde. He likes to push the limits. He's very inventive. He's extremely generous, generous with everyone that works around him. He likes to teach, you know, he likes to include you in the process, which is priceless to work with with someone like that. Um, he is, he, I think he's angry at the world or at society because he wants to break <laughs> every rule, do everything in a completely different way. And when he masters that, when he's angry at that too, because he has to try something completely different again. He is a visionary. And we are so lucky, all of us that like filmmaking and that like to watch films, that he is alive with this amazing force and energy. So I am so proud to present tonight with the Free Spirit Award to Mike Figgis. This is a, such, such an amazing um, event. And, and I, the reason I came was because I think it's an amazing event. And the possibility, along with, with Forrest, of being part of something where, um, and, I, and I think we completely agree with each other about the desire to share information, and that if you love film, you want to see it go somewhere. And if you also observe, you know, the horrible ways it can go wrong through systems. I mean, not, you know, no one's not a conspiracy. No one's that clever in Hollywood. They're really not. And uh, it just is a collective kind of lemming philosophy. You know, uh, in some ways, you see talent being corrupted very, very quickly. You see people rushing into that system with all of the eagerness and the kind of faith and the, the belief in in humanity, and very, very quickly that gets corrupted. You know, and it is such a shame because I do think that cinema is about the best invention in terms of art that, you know, it's what Wagner would have given one of his testicles for, without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> and what's happened in the last, say, five years in particular with the whole digital thing is, is it's kind of mind-boggling, I think, in terms of where it would allow this art form to go. And this particular event is maybe one of the few events that actually just focuses on that particular idea of where it could go and what a great thing it could be. And where people are actually unembarrassed to use the word art, which is a very embarrassing word in the world of cinema. You know, it's like, don't say that word. You know, it's, it's show business, you know. Um, so I would just say, by way of saying thank you, um, uh, let us all celebrate that. And. Um, I, I, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you, and Forrest, and thank you for inviting me and just honoring me in this way. It's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck.